Hey, I'm Rhonda, I'm um, part of the police photography section and yeah, this is a day in our life. I'm 51 car today, so that means the phone's on me. Uh, we get into work early, go through the jobs in the system, see what, what uh, photography jobs Frontline have entered overnight and just delegate those out between the photographers. And then yeah, we just wait for calls and respond to whatever's happening. We've got um, three, three cars like this, they're kitted out in the back with everything we could possibly need from um, batteries and numbers and stickers and spare flashes, tripod, um, yeah, torch glasses, filters, USB sticks, lights, um, but the main, main bits are all, um, we've each got our own case assigned to us, obviously you don't own it but it's yours as long as you work here, um, Canon 5D cameras at the moment, some Mark III's, a couple of lucky people have got Mark IVs, I'm not one of those. Still we don't, we're obviously plain clothes, um, I wear a vest as well, which is always in the back of the car, with a gear bag with high vis, you kind of never know when you might have to step back into a normal police role and help out at a situation or a um, yeah, crash scene or even just traffic incidents, pulling, pulling cars over if we need to. Um, yeah, so I always have that stuff on board as well. Just got to kind of be prepared for everything, I think, in this role. You never quite know what's around the corner. Good job, but all righty. Don't stand on the loose bricks. Cue the phone call. Photos, Rhonda speaking. So this will just help the police putting together an investigation to kind of know what the place looks like and you know, the positioning of things and the relationship between the different areas. Alrighty, we're here at uh, Mechanics Bay. We're just going to go for a ride in Eagle and get some photographs of a couple of addresses um, in Auckland in relation to an investigation that's happening at the moment. Um, yeah. Yay. I always, even in the daytime, I'll use a tripod. Just, we haven't got shutter speed issues, but um, just keeps it really consistent. Um, yeah, so it's pretty standard. We'll just do a walk through from, I mean, the cars, the vehicle's lost control on the corner. So I'll go back beyond the corner a little bit and just show, um, you know, where it is that it went wrong. There's some really clear skid marks. So those are gonna be nice and easy. And then all the way down to um, just generals of the of the vehicle, and yeah, that'll be us. Well, the photos are just to record, um, you know, the marks on the road, the um, any any damage, any debris, just anything that could be evidential, and trying to figure out what happened and why it happened. Um, so, because it's um, a serious serious type scene where. Um, DNA and, and stuff is important. I'm going to get um, overalls and booties and hairnet, mask, 
yeah, basically just completely kitted up so none of my DNA ends up in the scene. Not very flattering. <laughs> this is where I need to not fall over. Yeah, the kind of, kinds of jobs that we attend are, um, it's really varied and you, you never know from one day to the next, but anything serious crime, you know, if, if the crime car or um, CIB are involved, generally will come along. Um, so homicide scenes, serious assaults, aggravated robberies, um, crashes, either fatal crashes or crashes where there's a, a chance that they could be fatal. Um, anything that requires, you know, some investigation, often photos will be called to come along and just you know get pictures of the of the scene. Um, we're kind of an hour off my finish time now. I'd, aim, I'd usually aim to be back in the office by now but if not just the way it, the way it works out we'll get back. I'll um, enter the jobs, get the details for those jobs that we've done today in the system and get the photos onto the desktop from there and then they get opened up in um, Lightroom. Um, obviously because they're evidential photos, nothing's, you know, we don't, we don't alter, we don't, you know, take things out or put things in or, or make any kind of changes like that. Just lighting adjustments really, lifting shadows, dropping down highlights, really making sure that um, everything's clear and sharp and we can see everything we need to see. This is photography, so this is, uh, we're based at Harlech House and this is our main kind of office area. We've all got our own little space that we live in. This is me in here. We've got 11 photographers in all. On an ideal day, there's five working, generally three on the road, one in the office, and a late shift most days. Lots of cool photos and stuff around the, around the walls. Um, I haven't been here that long, I've been here nine months, so none of these are mine at this point, but eventually, I guess, that's it will be cool to get some photos on the wall, gear room, lots of um, equipment. Quite often certain crime scenes, homicide scenes and stuff you need to kit up. You've got to have booties and gloves and masks and so you're not um, contaminating any, any evidence or scene with your DNA. Mm. And then through here, um, studio. Feels weird being on this side of the camera. <laughs> Probably not my favourite. Before police, um, pretty much a full-time mum. You know, little bits and pieces of photos on the side. I also make cakes, although don't don't broadcast that out there. I'll be accosted. Everyone knows the way to police's stomach, it police's hearts through their stomach. My my number three is um, 21, and she's in police too. She's been in just over a year. She'll be my boss before I know it. I was a bit of a, a late bloomer, late coming to police. I was 46 when I went to police college, and that was. Um, Four years ago now, nearly four years ago, um, I worked in Frontline for about 18 months and then had a, a stint in Family Harm and then this a secondment came up for photos and for me I, I'd kind of always wanted to end up in photography. It's something that's a, a real hobby and a passion outside of work so the idea of combining the two was pretty attractive. What I'm taking photos of is very different to what I was taking photos of for fun. Um, obviously the nature of our photos is pretty gruesome sometimes. It's um, definitely something that is not for everyone, but no, it's good. I'm excited to come to work every day. There's not many jobs that are like that.